Hello, hey powerful people. Hello, powerful person. That would be you. That would be you. How are you doing today? Hello, anybody out there? Anybody? Oh, I'm going to start singing. I know. I know. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt your ears today. So who am I and why am I all up in your news feed? I am Sophia Casey, international award-winning speaker, corporate trainer, dynamic executive coach, and creator of all things ease and flow, including the Ease and Flow Journal, a 31-day journal to help you get clear, connected, and courageous about your life, hunty. I'm so grateful that I am all of that and then some. I praise God for my and then some because I say my and then some is his favor on my life. It's my mojo. It's my magic fairy pixie dust of inspiration. All gifts that he gave to me. I don't know why he did, but I'm so grateful that he did. And guess what? He gave you gifts too. And all you have to do is do what? Use them. I just want to give a praise report, a praise report, not for me, but on behalf of one of my clients, on behalf of one of my clients. Um, I'm not going to give out demographic information because I don't do that, um, unless my clients have asked me to do that. But I want to share a client win with you in hopes that it will support you with not stopping, in hopes that it will support you in keeping moving forward for you to keep moving forward is that something that would be supportive of you i want to make sure that everything i bring to you is valuable is supportive of you if it's something that um, you struggle around like how to keep in action how to keep moving even beyond that inner critic saying don't do that girl what you talking about uh -uh, you don't even know what you're doing uh -uh, don't do that don't step outside your comfort zone because if you step outside your comfort zone you know what she gonna say you know what he's gonna say oh my gosh don't do it just give you something a little bit and do a praise report for one of my clients so one of my clients um it's one of my executive clients and one of the uh, challenges that she struggled around was, uh, I wanna make sure I put this in a way that doesn't give out any demographic information, but one of the things that she struggled around was setting her boundaries, setting her boundaries, um, mainly at her job, but also in her personal life too, but mainly in her job. And so what does that look like? That looks like when you are in your cubicle or you are in your office and you're focused and you know you got your head down and you're working and maybe you have a note on your door on your cubicle that says something like you know do not disturb or um, working on a project. I used to do this when I worked a nine to five. I would make these cute little signs, put them on my door, especially if I had to um, meet a deadline. I would put a little sign on my door that said, hey, I'm working. I actually got one from this coworker of mine that was so cute. I borrowed it from him. It said, I'm frying big fish. <laughs> You guys can use that if you want to it said so I made a sign that said I'm frying big fish which meant I was up to big things I was focused my head was down could not be disturbed because I had to meet these deadlines shout out to all my federal government employees I miss y'all okay so you know how it goes though you put the sign up on your door and then what happens so that sign is creating a boundary right I cannot be disturbed. And you know what happens, what typically happens, <laughs> or what could happen? Typically what could happen is, knock, 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 tap, tap, tap. Oh, oh, Sophia, I know you had that note on your door. I know you're, you're in the middle of a project or you're working on a deadline. I just have one quick question, right? So that type of thing was happening a lot for my client not just interruptions like that, but also um, people not respecting her boundaries. Her boundaries in terms of um, telling inappropriate jokes around her. Mm, yes, hello. Sharing inappropriate things in her presence. And the reason that this is a win for my client is because in the past she actually didn't have a relationship with boundaries she didn't have a relationship with her boundaries but who can relate to always 
thinking about the other person and wanting to please the other person so that you don't say no when you really mean no. You say yes when you don't really mean yes. You take on more work and more work and more work and more work and you don't hold your boundaries as sacred. So this is a huge win for her because today she actually um, stepped fully into her leadership and she was clear about her boundaries. She was clear about what her expectations were. She was clear about what she was going to work on, what she was not going to work on. And it wasn't like she was like pushing up against her supervisor. I ain't trying to get y'all fired, okay? Don't come over here talking about Coach Casey told me to tell you, Miss or Mr. Supervisor, that I ain't got to do that work. <laughs> that is not what we're talking about, okay? That is not right to <laughs> see. Okay, great. So she wasn't clear about her nose. She wasn't, her nose didn't mean no. Her nose meant no for right now, but if you keep talking to me or if you keep interrupting me or if you keep pushing me, I will give in and my no will quickly become a yes. And so I just wanted to like come on here and I hope that, you know, my praise report about my client is actually encouraging you to hold your boundaries as sacred. Say no when you mean no. Say yes when you mean yes. And so today she practiced that. She practiced it on a big scale, on a big scale. Yes, she said, no, this will not be because I say so. Yes, I'm willing to do X, Y, and Z. No, that's not appropriate. That's not okay. I mean, it was a really, really humongous win for her. And I see some hearts and some thumbs up, so I know that you guys are relating. And I stopped by just for a moment today to encourage you, each and every one of you, and encourage myself too, to hold our boundaries as sacred. You know, this coaching work, it really does work. It really does work. I know that it works. I've been in this coaching world for a long time. But even still, even though I've been in for a long time, there are still days where I'm like, dang, this ish really works. <laughs> And so she got a huge, huge dose of transformation today. She actually made a big shift in her life. And, you know, I talked to her about like, you know, and to help her get present to like, how did it feel? And she was like, I feel on top of the world. I feel like I prioritized myself. I feel like I was clear and intentional with my desires and my expectations and what was okay with me and what was not. And you know, I have it that when we do that, we don't just keep our boundaries or hold our boundaries as sacred for ourselves. It's not just for us. It's for the other person too. I feel like when I hold my boundaries as sacred and I'm very honest and authentic about what I'm willing to take on and what I'm not, what my answers are, if my answers are yes or no, having them be real yeses and real noes. When I do that, it's not just love for myself. It's love for you and you and you and you and you and you. It's love for my loved ones. Yes. Yes. Can y'all relate? Okay. Yeah, people struggle. I still struggle with my personal boundaries. I still struggle sometimes with work boundaries right? Like turning off the computer, like, okay, Sophia, no, it's three o'clock. It's four o'clock. Your work day is over. Shut it down. And then sometimes, you know, we have to roll up our sleeves and we got to get our hustle on. That's fine. I don't like grinding though. I don't even like saying that word. I'm grinding it out today. No. So sometimes we do, we have to do that. But at the same time, those should be aberrations. Those should be few and far in between because we're holding our boundaries as sacred, because we love ourselves so much that we're putting our oxygen masks on first so that we can show up powerfully for others. Tomorrow, I get the wonderful opportunity to be with a lot of federal government leaders, private sector um, consulting firms. Shout out to Deloitte. Oh, if I start naming names, I'm gonna leave somebody out, so let me just not do that, but shout out. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll name a few that I do definitely know. Um, so this is going to be at the HBCU conference, the Historically Black Colleges and University Conference. I'm so excited. So if you're in town and you're planning on stopping by, please come in to my session. I would love to see you. We're talking to industry leaders as a part of Industry Day, and I can't wait. 
I can't wait to be with these people. Uh, public servants, leaders, executives um, in their co corporations like Deloitte, I'm sure Booz Allen will be there, McKenzie, am I missing somebody? Sorry if I am. Um, shout out to all the federal government agencies that are gonna be there. There are so many, I could not possibly name them all, but I will give a huge shout out to my former employer, the US Department of Treasury, um, also Health and Human Services, NIH, and see, that's why I shouldn't have done it because I'm gonna forget some others. Don't blame it on my head, not my heart, okay? So looking forward to that. But even with that, even getting this great opportunity, I, hey, I love getting contracts, okay? Getting this great opportunity to go do this, I still had to remind myself, Sophia, hold your boundaries as sacred. You're gonna set the timer, you're gonna work on this, work on your talking points, work on whatever for X amount of time, and then you're done. Okay, you're done. Sometimes I talk to myself like that. Okay, you're done, Sophia. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm about to go spend some great time with my middle schooler <laughs> who has a big history test. So send him some good vibe energy. Good vibe energy so he does well on that test. All right, I'll be back. You know, I always come back. I'll be back. But I just wanted to give a big old praise report for my VIP client who's doing the work doing the work around her career and at the same time doing her the personal work the transformation work i love it and creating ease and flow all right guys go ahead enjoy the rest of your day have a great day please the world can deal us some crap don't be a part of that go be good to each other and most importantly be good to boom yourself god bless ciao ciao